The stories from October 7 are endless. They're all painful beyond imagination. And this time, an IDF soldier's father reveals how Hamas tried to sell his son's head in Gaza after murdering him that morning. In a heart-wrenching interview with Channel 14, David Tahar, father of the late sergeant Adir Tahar, revealed the horrific ordeal he faced in bringing his son's remains home after he fell in combat on October 7. Tahar began by recounting his son's final moments, sharing the anguish of learning that 19-year-old sergeant Adir Tahar's body had been filled with trepnel from a rocket and grenades. However, the tragedy didn't end there. The beyond barbaric terrorist beheaded his son, taking the head back to Gaza. Over two and a half months, Tahar tirelessly searched for his son's missing head. He described the difficulty in identifying his son physically, resorting to a DNA test for confirmation before the burial. The turning point came when the Shin Bet, through interrogation of arrested terrorists, discovered that Hamas tried to sell Adil's head for $10,000. Special forces in a daring operation located the head in an ice cream store in Palestine Square in Gaza, next to the terrorist documents and tennis balls. Despite recovering what remained of his son's head, David Tahar shared the grim reality that it too had undergone abuse during its time in Gaza. Tahar, after facing these unimaginable atrocities, expressed the family's intention to establish a center in surgeon Adir Tahar's name to aid at risk youth in Jerusalem. Additionally, they have initiated the creation of a Torah scroll in his memory.